all time wheeler man first of all bro just seeing you playing in the grind session man your first year here uh you look like you adapted really fast yeah. uh just talk to me a little bit about the experience so far uh it's been good it's uh top talent and you got to bring it every day like in michigan it's top talent but you only get so many games where you get that same dog so Every day, I got a different dog to go against, so and that's just been a, the best part of about it, because every day, you got to bring it, because if you know if you don't, you're going to get embarrassed. That's what's up, bro, and I definitely see you adding value to the platform. I have, uh, this is our first time catching up with you since the commitment to, right. uh, big time commitment to IUPUI. Can you just tell me a little bit about what went into the decision? Uh, just, just, I felt at home with IUPUI, especially with everything going on with COVID, and they're giving players extra years, so. IUPUI made me feel like I was at home and made me feel like I was like I was really a part of like somebody that they really wanted. Even though they could go to the transfer portal and get anybody at college, they still made me feel like they wanted me. So just just that part being feeling like family and that felt like home for me. And they've been contacting me the most, so I felt like that was the right place for me to be. Yeah, that's big time, man. And I think that's some some good advice for players on you know just going somewhere where you feel wanted and right. coaches are treating you the right way. Uh, lastly, bro. Uh, social media, you're a monster, bro. Right. I think you do a really good job with your accounts. Right. Uh, just talk to people, any you know, player that might be high school coming up, who's thinking about social media. Any tips, tricks you can give them on growing a social media base while you're being a top athlete in basketball? Uh, I think it can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. Like you can you can use it to your advantage, definitely, like I do. Or you can you can use it to a disadvantage where you do stuff that everybody's gonna see regardless. So I think you should use it to your advantage. Like I think. Most people use it and they, they see like the outside of it, but they don't understand that like you got to take what come with it. Like the people that's, that's going to slander you, people that's going to act like they love you, act like they hate you. It's a lot that come with it, but you just got to be with it the whole time and stay the course with it and just stay focused. Like social media isn't real life. So don't let social media fame stop your grind and think you celebrity. Like you still, you still got to get to it just like everybody else. So I think you just got to stay the course and, and keep a, a level mindset with social media. Bro, it's great to hear you say that, man, because I see if you got 50, 75, 100,000 followers, right. how you can get caught up. Right. And just a guy at your age, man, being able to communicate that and already be ahead of the game, man, congrats, bro. You're on appreciate your way, it. man. Yeah, appreciate you spending time with us, okay. bro.